start the next video. By the way, all of you guys that saw my previous video, fuck you. <laughs> Change the hairstyle. <laughs> My hairstyle was looking cute. Period. Bye, floppy. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we're in spooky season. Yes, yes, yes. But to bring in the holiday, I love fall. Fall is my shit. That's not a holiday. It is for me. The whole season is a holiday. The whole season. Girl, wrap it up. You got Thanksgiving. I love me some food. You got Halloween. Halloween. I love candy. And Christmas. Christmas isn't in fall. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Bro, that's winter. Oh, shit. I forgot. Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, shit. So then what's winter? December, January, February? I think so. You are so funny. Let's just wrap it up. Have you ever had a Halloween that stuck with you? If you were in the last two pods, you already know. A bunch of kids try to bully me in the neighborhood, try to steal my candy. Huh? Yeah. That's crazy. Only to find out that he was like afraid of my sister. And he was like, oh shit, this is your sister? Yeah. Why are you trying to steal her candy? My bad. That's hilarious. Bitch. <laughs> In my neighborhood. Oh, Lord. Fucking A. But yeah, have you had any Halloweens? So there was this one time when I lived at my in my mom's neighborhood. You remember what it was like. Like, you know, the front is pretty decent, but the back gets a little sketchy. <laughs> so <laughs> that reminds me, keep going. So um there was this one Halloween, me and my neighbor who was my friend at that time, um, and somebody else. There was a third person. Don't remember who the third person was. We were just walking around. People were trick-or-treating. We weren't. We were just walking around. And then we just kept walking. And we kept walking. And it got super late because we had left the house already. It was like, were you trick-or-treating? Or you no, just- we were just walking around. Okay. I know that's odd, but we used to walk around all the time. If we weren't on the green box in front of my house, we were just walking around. So we saw the time and we were like, damn, it's 12 o'clock at night. That's wild. I'm shocked my mom hasn't called me to cuss my ass out. Because this was like, I think I want to say it's like towards the end of middle school or the very beginning of high school. Okay. Like ninth, eighth, ninth grade, around there. And you know me, I, I was, you know, super into church at, at that point mm-hmm. or whatever. So I, that's mainly why I didn't do trick or treating. But in my heart of hearts, we all know I like Halloween. Yeah. Decided to turn around and walk back. The street lights, instead of turning on, they stayed off. Hence why we lost track of time. When we turn around, we start hearing a noise and we're like, well, we can't see anything. And it was before the iPhone time, so you know that the iPhones had a flashlight on it. So we were literally just like, I remember you hell? had your Evo, the one that like yeah. Lit up. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this? Like, what is this noise? Oh my god! And I, you know me, I started praying, Señor, reprenda el diablo de los demonios. Like I just started praying in my head, mm-hmm. and my friends are like, Yo. What the hell is that? And we're walking, but we're like looking around because the noise gets louder and louder. Uh, literally goosebumps just thinking <laughs> about it. Oh, um, we turn the street and out of nowhere on the other side, like on the other sidewalk, there's this man. Ooh, girl, I see it, bitch. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> there was this man who was very scary looking. He was just naturally he, like he was an older guy. He looked like he had white hair, oh, and we wanted bitch. to chalk it up to like he was on drugs. But me and my spirituality is like, oh, no, you're possessed, homie. You are possessed. Mm-hmm. Uh, no way. He was like talking in weird gurgling type of noises, words, situation. But it wasn't like words that we would understand. Mm-hmm. And he just kept staring at us. He's walking this way. We're walking on the other opposite side of that way. And On the same sidewalk? No, uh, different sides of the road. Okay, okay. But it's 12 o'clock. Nobody's outside. So it's just us three and then this one man. Your neighborhood, bitch. It's sketchy as hell. It's one of those neighborhoods that's like access to the public roads and shit. Yeah. Like, but it's also connected to like trailer parks and stuff like in the back. And it's well known to have a shortcut. So people be on um, that bitch. Yeah. Okay. So he's like walking and he's literally dead ass staring at us. And like me and the two girls were Fuck like, that. we're no. like, if he comes up, like you're going to kick him, like making these plans. We do the plans. You got top, I got bottom. And I'm like, I'm a prey <laughs> because he was scary. He was so scary. <laughs> I was so scared. But I was like, you know, again, praying in my head. And then we like sped up. 
but he kept making the noise and he literally like stopped and just stared at us. What noise is he making? I don't want to do oh, it. Gargling it's noise. like a gargling noise, but he was like saying things like that type of thing. And imagine that loud. Yeah. No. After that, I was, I was scarred and we were like, oh yeah, maybe he was on drugs or something. I'm like, whoa. He probably escaped from his house or some shit. Right. It could have been simply like some, let's say, I know some old people like with dementia and stuff, they, uh-huh. they do things that- Probably like living be, with their family, being taken care got of. Got out maybe like that. He, yeah. Yeah. They could have been anything like that, but immediately. I'm in my, asking. My spiritual head. That's Satan, child. Bitch. I don't play that. <laughs> I remember you you- unlocked a memory i remember one time um natalie's mom has a um a salon in her backyard portion of her house Mm -hmm. and it was just new it was um a new salon just finished construction all that stuff we were in there because she had a big flat screen tv (laughs) (laughs) we were in there and we were chilling and we were watching i think a scary movie because we were natalie loves i love me a good scary movie we ordered pizza we were having a girls night in it was just us in my house right my mom wasn't there she wasn't it was just me you and And i think gabby Gabby. Mm -hmm. we were just in there chilling (laughs) we're watching a scary ass movie and Kid you not, her backyard has nothing. There's no trees, no nothing yep. at that point. And if there were trees, it There's was trees in the behind, park, yeah, behind in the, back. the fence. Yeah. We kept hearing a tapping at the um window, and I heard it, and I'm paranoid. I stay paranoid. She stays paranoid. And I didn't say nothing, but the tapping continued, and it got loud enough for Natalie to be like, because I wasn't there at first. She wasn't there. I but, went to go get the pizza I th- or something. I went to go get soda, pizza or, or soda or went to the bathroom, something. I had left the vicinity. And it was just me and Gabby. And I didn't say nothing. You guys but, screamed. And I got scared. No. Yeah. That because was the second time around. No, that was the. No, I'm saying I wasn't there when it first happened. You guys had both made a noise, gotten up. I said, what happened? And you guys were like, oh, I heard something. I heard something. I was like, and then it happened. And then we all screamed. <laughs> <laughs> basically sorry we, all it, we ran inside her house left the tv on left i don't know if the pizza was already in there but i think it was in the kitchen we left everything inside her mom's thing and we didn't go nowhere and then literally probably five ten minutes later her mom comes in walking in yeah i was like mommy there was something in the backyard didn't she look outside too? she did and she called this dumb and she had and the, the thing is her mom had the um the broom in her she head. was ready <laughs> if there's one thing about my mom my mom will grab anything she had the broom in her hand and she went out looking and, she, and then she called us stupid and she was like there's nothing back here <laughs> then we don't know what the fuck it was but girl we were fucking frightened it, it, there's been a lot of things because also in Is that, your house haunted in that house uh, i think it's like seven people died Including, remember I told you that one guy that OD'd in, in the studio where my mom <gasps> in the side? Yeah, that when we lived there, he, RIP, he was such a nice guy. Oh Literally, he, he OD'd in the bathroom there. Ever since I was a kid, because I grew up in that house, you know that. Yeah. I, I've i always heard or felt or, you know, things. And I'm not trying to be like super like, oh, no. Nah, bitch. But there was always something odd. And it also doesn't help that I was already traumatized. Mm, yeah. <laughs> naturally. Yeah. So um, I would constantly wake up my mom. Be like, mommy, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> mommy, did you hear that? And my mom being a single mother, you know, just go ahead. But the thing is with Natalie's mom, she had the security system where if you open the front door, it says front door, door. open. Right. So it would let you know she had that. So it's like you kind of know you're tripping. Yeah. Because no one's here. Right. The door didn't open. But nothing. that's the thing. You see, again, in my traumatized mind we don't care we don't care it's not that i'm like but there's so many windows in this house you don't have a thing there was only there was only two windows that that had the alarm system i'm like there's like eight windows in this house yeah hello um so constantly thinking like something somebody was inside the house my mom literally would leave her bedroom with her lamp in her hand (laughs) my mom would have a lamp my mom started leaving um machete in Mm -hmm. her in her room and to this day baby I do the same. I don't play that. I need to. Um, I, I you need a gun. I need you something because I, bitch. <laughs> you and your been pa- so many. Don't nights. get a gun. I just thought about that. You be shooting in your walls. <laughs> Someone lives in my walls. I don't give a fuck because I hear things and 
Usually I <gasps> talk. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. Happy. <laughs> I had to redo it. Shout out to Eric. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if she'll fall for it again. <laughs> My mind is in a scary state. <laughs> Fuck yes, I'm gonna fall for it. That was so perfect. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That, no, I'm not bitch. sorry. That was great. You're such a bitch. And that, <laughs> oh my God, that gave me a flashback to, to when you were like, oh, Natalia, don't move. There's a frog. <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. I don't even know what I was saying. I just, oh, whatever. I was I'm like, should it. I do this stuff? <laughs> oh my God. You stupid bitch. I literally was thinking about it in my life. <laughs> How am I going to do this? I wonder if she'll fall for it again. <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. The second week in a row. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. oh my God, I'm Ooh. so afraid. You were talking about um, people in your walls. I don't want to talk you about them. Oh, okay. You got scared. <laughs> it was literally nothing. Not one thing. I was Bitch, just... you got me so afraid because <laughs> the other one was a fucking ant or some <laughs> shit. While I sit here and I'm like, I looked at the floor. That's it. I just, Whoa. I just look. There's nothing there, Natalia. Girl. I didn't even say anything. I just went. <gasps> Is it? And you look in the direction, so I just like, <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> no, you said what? What? <laughs> That was so funny. I wish I was recording. I wish I was recording on my phone. I wish you were recording on your phone. Oh, Imagine that, if you were that shit. That would have been recording. hilarious. Oh my God. Okay, next time. Go ahead. <sighs> okay, well, that brings us to the end of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, spooky Veebs, I have a thread. <laughs> All right, so the thread is what meal traumatized you as a kid? I'm going to go straight oatmeal. That shit was disgusting. My mom was the type of mother, if you didn't finish your plate, you weren't leaving. So she force fed me oatmeal when That's I was a kid. That's such abuse. That's <laughs> such abuse. I say it all the time. She hated me. <laughs> With food, I literally just like food. <laughs> I mean, mangoes. When I was a kid, I mm. used to not peel the mango. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, mind you, I never thought about it. Like, my mom would always just serve me mango. There was this one time in Dominican Republic where my mom was not around. I was just with my aunt. And I just grabbed a mango. I washed it like if it was an apple. And I just bit it. And later on that day, I had a very intense stomach ache. Mm -hmm. It was so bad. I was just like, it must have been the mango. It must have been the mango. Because that was all that I had eaten at that time was the mango. And my aunt was making me drink tea. To, to pass it through. Yeah, to pass it through or whatever. And I was like, I don't like tea. I don't <laughs> like tea. In the middle of the road where everybody was watching me. And she made me grab a switch. And, she, and she was absolutely ready to whip my ass absolutely just so i could drink that tea i told her if i drink the tea i'm gonna throw up she's like drink the damn tea with the with the switch in her hand mm -hmm. so i drank the tea all at once and just like that i threw up yeah so now to this day I, I won't eat a mango well you, so you won't not even if like they're pre-made slices no meatloaf the most unnecessary meal ever <laughs> what am i gonna do with a meat cake i think i like meatloaf because i love like a meatball mm -hmm. and i a meatloaf is a big meatball. Kind of. I never had someone like serve it to me. And mm -hmm. when I saw it once at Golden Corral, it didn't look appetizing because people had gotten into it. And 
when I saw someone make it on like co- the cooking show, this red sauce that they put on it is not marinara. It's fucking ketchup. Mm-hmm. I get PTSD every time I see hamburger, hamburger helper, helper in the grocery store. I never had it. I love, I love it. It's like um pouches. No, I've seen it. Oh, I just never had it. My mom, she used to fuck that shit up. Like um, they used to have a chicken alfredo mm-hmm. one. She used to give it to me every time she used to like leave me at home by myself. Yeah. Call the cops. You know what my mom used to leave me with? Sorry. Kids cuisine. Those shits were so good. With a little smiley face fries. With a dinosaur yeah. nugget. <laughs> I love the smiley face fries. They brought those, I remember, to one of my um, elementary schools. Oh my God. So good. So, so good. good. With the TG Leak. Yeah. Notes. <laughs> liver. Because it's literally a liver and I felt like I would have become a cannibal. So... I was at my dad's house, and again, my dad's Dominican, so he'd be cooking anything and everything. Yes. He had cooked liver one day, and I didn't know it was liver. I thought they were beef chunks. I, I love me some beef chunks. I know. <laughs> so I lapped that bitch up. I had like a good serving. Why, when I bite into it, Ugh. it's so mushy, and it's so... There's no flavor to it. It tastes yeah. disgusting. Yeah. And... And I looked at him like, Poppy, what is this? You fucked up the beef. And he told me, he was like, it's not beef. Yeah. It's liver. Yeah. <laughs> Again, he would not let me leave. No. Have you ever seen somebody eat cow tongue? No. Yeah. That's a thing. No. I'm like, no, thanks. I'm okay. Just because I know it's a cow. Like, it I had, looks like a cow tongue. Like, legit. You can... Like, I had crocodile one time, but I didn't know. Alligator. I had gator. I had gator. One time. And it was good. Gator I th- tots. I thought it was beef jerky. I had shark. Is that rough? I feel like that was Shark is a little bit gamey, depending on, like, how they're cooked. But on the way, my we were at the beach. I think it was, like, Clearwater. Mm-hmm. And my brother ordered um, shark tots. Huh. And um, it it was, like, white meat. Huh. And it was very chewy. It was gamey. It tasted like chicken. I'm gonna I try liked it. I'm gonna have to try that. Because gator was good. I was shocked. Have you ever tried frog legs? What the fuck do I look like? Bitch. Ugh. Me and my mom. Oh. Whew, we were sorry like, guys for that gag. <laughs> we were driving somewhere like in Longwood. And we went to this one restaurant called like Black and Mile or something like that. Some mm-hmm. nasty shit. But it was like a very country bar. They had fried green tomatoes. Like it was oh. it. Yeah. And on the um menu they had frog legs. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and my brother was like, Oh, I'll order these. And I've I seen them. They're nasty. I, yeah, no, I would not. And I was like, what do they taste like? He's like, Yeah. Back to the whole meat situation with goat. I didn't eat goat for a bit. Now I'll fuck up some goat as long as it's cooked right. But it's because I saw my dad in Dominican Republic kill a baby oh goat. Oh my God. And then they just like cooked it like if nothing and then tried to serve it to me. I'm like, no, I'm good. The last time I was down in DR, I was hearing the pig squeal. It's so sad. I was just like. The trauma. I could never. And then the squealing was gone. Yeah. Oh my God, you people are so evil. He was like, you know, you're going to be eating thin need with rice later on. I'm like, Very no, true. the fuck I'm not. Yeah. I'm traumatized ever since then. I'll mess up. I don't care. I'll fuck it up. You got to make it. It has to be made by the time I get to this No, spot. people that do it, like the full pig. My uncle is like that. He would make the full pig like over, you know, like the old school way. Yeah, like you have the cinder blocks. Yes. And then you have the rack. And I was like, no, thanks. I remember one Christmas, we would always go to his house for Christmas. My mom would have to like bring me the plate. Like I couldn't see it get pulled from the pig. But yeah. But cold benin. And um, ajo con gandule, cold for the next day. I fucking love it. That's my favorite. I don't like ajo con gandule like year round. Mm-hmm. I only like it on Christmas time. Yeah, it feels right. Right, it feel, you. That's Christmas. Yeah, you know. I got gotcha. you. This one they attacking you. Them nasty <laughs> microwave meals in the blue box with them nasty brownies. <laughs> Not the kids' cuisine, but it was so good. The mm. brownie wasn't good. The brownie. Oh, wasn't. that shit was always nasty. It yeah, was like some the brownie was shit. was trash. But you know everything else about it was good. Sloppy Joes. I love. Uh, uh-uh, uh, that's a tie. <laughs> you have no idea the obsession I have with sloppy. Sloppy Girl, Joes is 
nasty. I love me a good sloppy. Baby, mm-hmm. I used to eat two of them whenever they had them at lunchtime. Hell no. That Girl, was so they were so nasty. good. They're so good. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know anybody else who likes sloppy joes, but I will come on. Sloppy joes were so nasty because by the time I was like ready to eat it, not only they sloppy as fuck, but the bread underneath was so soggy and it was like breaking in my hand. Oh, you see that? What's the purpose? Give me a fork. I don't eat it in a bun though. What do you eat it like, with? Like I just eat a, eat the meat. I like the meat of a sloppy joe. I job. like the meat too because um I grew up with that and just white rice. When you were oh, lazy, yeah, no. when my mom was lazy, yeah. white rice and that type of meat and then you mix it together and you make yourself a good meal. Right. But sloppy joe like, is in a if bun. Like if I, I've never made sloppy joe. What's yeah. in sloppy joe? Girl, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tasted this one. Chitlins. I cried trying Ugh. to get the taste out of my mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> what do they taste like? They're so nasty. <laughs> I don't know if they're nasty because of how they taste. What are chitlins? They're like I think it's this part of the chicken. Neck bones? Uh, no, I don't know exactly what it is, but I know I had one at a friend's family reunion. I was invited to, and I'm like, listen, why do you guys eat this? Like, I could never. Oh, they're the small intestines of a, a domestic animal. Yeah, so like animal. a pig or whatever. Yeah, the ones I had were chicken. Chicken. Oh my god, they were disgusting. I was thinking of gizzards. I think gizzards. I've, the fuck are I've gizzards? also had a chicken gizzard. Look that up. I've never had this. So when Precious came over, she gave me some with collard greens, sweet mm-hmm. potato mm-hmm. pie that her mom made. Yum. Um, she gave me the turkey, and her turkey was juicy. Yeah, and then um, honey ham. I love me some honey I can't ham. Do it. That bitch is so good. And um, she asked if I wanted black eyed peas. I'm like, no, I don't eat that. Oh, so good. And then homemade cornbread. That bitch was so fucking good. That sounds good. And I was like, yeah, I got pork. Mm-hmm. And she was like, girl, that was gone. Golden Chris cereals, because my aunt that babysat me had roaches and they resembled them. Hilarious. <laughs> Amazing. Vienna sausages. <gasps> Till this day, that shit nasty. Can't even take a whiff of it. That's crazy. I love like, Vienna sausages, especially in my rice. No, I get to the point, and y'all can judge your mama. Um, <laughs> I get to the point, like, if I'm really hungry while I'm cooking, I'll grab a, a can of Vienna sausages, dump the juice, and just eat yeah. them out the can. And I get looked at or judged no. for that because you're supposed to cook it. My ass. No, like that was a snack for me when I was a kid. Period. When my when I was hungry and my mom was like, the food's almost finished. Mind you, her almost finished was thirty minutes. Bitch, I'm hungry. <laughs> she would give me a the can Vienna of Vienna sausages, sausages. bake that bitch out. She would take one for herself and she would give me the rest. Yeah. And then Honestly. me, I would be bougie. I would take my fork, smash them <laughs> against it, and think I was even like in my head. I, I thought this was lobster meat. You're hilarious, bitch. I thought I was. <laughs> but yeah, I do the exact same thing. I haven't done it in a while. I did it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> my cousin is fucking weird. Why rice and ketchup? I do that. <gasps> I remember that is what my mom used to call la comida del pobre, <laughs> and call me broke. That's fine. My mom does white rice and mayonnaise. I've never tried that, but I'd be willing to try it. She, you see, the thing about me <laughs> <laughs> with food, I am not, as long as it's multiple things that I eat, you already, don't mind combining I don't them? mind combining things. Like I used to do, I, this was a thing for me and my brother, if you're watching this, you know, I would put ranch dressing on my white rice. <gasps> The most curious thing I had was um, <laughs> celery and peanut butter. That shit is nasty as fuck. Celery and gen- like you won't catch me eating peanut celery. butter and apples though. Yeah, that's fucking and bananas with peanut butter. You've never had a never. banana. I don't like bananas like that though. Oh, I've been into quote chicken nuggets and it was mush. Turns out to be fried squash. <gasps> What's squash? Is that like pumpkin? That's yeah, Ew. but it's not pumpkin. I, I don't know the difference. They're in, in that the family, family of pumpkins. <laughs> Them damn kid cuisines. <laughs> you need to stop coming for me, okay? Overcooked ramen soup with hot dogs cut up. I, I, <laughs> and, I, and I put cheese in my ramen, too. I don't eat ramen that often anymore because it's really bad for you. Oh, uh, so like much the, sodium. So bad. If you see me eating a ramen cup, just assume there's cheese in it. <laughs> Cow tongue. It's a little too Haitian for me. <laughs> <laughs> Not too Haitian. <laughs> Sugar and mayo sandwiches. 
Excuse me? Sugar and mayo. Who got diabetes in your family? <laughs> mayo with sugar sandwiches? Yes. I wish they would elaborate. Like, is it bread? Mayo put, sh- like, legit sugar? Sandwiches. And- so probably literally no, just bread, mayo, sugar, folded like a hot dog, eat it. Who the hell? I've never in my life heard of that. That just threw... Sugar with mayo. Try it at home. I'm not, no. It's two individual things you eat. But on bread? I don't, can't imagine sugar on bread unless it's like French toast. I don't even like mayo. Don't let me know you put mayo in any dish. Like, I don't want to see you making the potato salad. I don't want to see you. But you'll eat the potato salad. Even I'm though you're ignorantly you know. blissed. Yes. Okay. I don't like the smell of it. Yeah, it doesn't. Smell I good. accidentally like <laughs> took the mayo out and it was separated. When I saw that, I was like, bitch, you wild. Yeah, no. That's disgusting. This <laughs> one's kind of mm, rice with butter and sugar in it. Can you taste the sugar? I guess that's my question because I know I put sugar in my rice if I put too much salt in my rice. So, what I would assume is like you. Cook your rice, uh-huh. you put a good layer of butter in it, let it melt, and then you uh-huh. mix it, and then I guess you sprinkle sugar to but I'm one, it I'm, But I'm wondering if that's like the sugar is after or during it's cooking. Oh, I don't know. She you didn't know specify. She like, I don't want to taste sweet rice. Yeah. And then I took that question over to my Instagram. So if you're not following Two Drinks and Tings, mm-hmm. go ahead and follow on IG and all social media. And I had people say Brussels sprouts because my mom used to just boil them. No facts. I've only eaten I've Brussels never, sprouts no. baked, and they were pretty good. I um I used to be on the Green Chef. Mm-hmm. I used to have Brussels sprouts and apples. I remember you told me that. So good. I have. I don't think I've ever tasted a Brussels sprout, but I think it's because they look funny. They're like little cabbages, and the only time I like cabbage is in coleslaw. Ooh, you like coleslaw? Yes, very much. Crab. My brothers would put crab legs on their fingers, and it freaked me out. That's funny. <laughs> The first thing that came to mind was split pea soup, <laughs> what I call Shrek soup. Oh, it, they're, they're, it's my favorite. Ew. It's my favorite. That sounds nasty. Like, that's one of the things, especially when I was pregnant, I was craving so bad. Mm-hmm. So good. I have yet to learn how to make it the way my mom makes it. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to force her to show me how she makes it because it's so good. <sighs> I think I've probably eaten a variation of that because I remember when I was a kid, my mom made white rice and instead of just like red beans or black beans, she did like pea greens, Mm -hmm. like the green ones. And then she like would kind of be smushy, like a thicker consistency. Mm -hmm. And then she would like put it on top. It was kind of like a mixture of like refried beans. um, Not that far. Uh, (laughs) No. Um, Wow. I lost the word for it. Damn. That's crazy. In Spanish, I forgot the words. Um, maybe it's pigeon peas. I think peas? they're called pigeon peas. Pigeon peas, right? Yeah, dried pigeon peas. Yeah, that's my my mom would have that and she would cook it. And if she would get it to like a thicker consistency of like similar to f- refried beans, and she would put that on top of my white rice. So yeah, I guess it is the same thing if you put it in that in that wording. Because I was thinking refried beans, like how Taco Bell refried beans. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm talking about like authentic Mexican refried beans of how th- thick this is. Yeah. That, but pigeon peas. Damn, I'm, I'm so mad. I, I'm losing the word for it. If and you guys have any traumatic experiences, let us know. Oatmeal. And then for a good time when I was down in DR, ugh, mango. You're- I hate maduros. They're fucking disgusting. You can shut your face. It's the sweetness. It uh, tastes disgusting. You can shut your face. Ugh. Thank you. Oh Dike mango y maduro que no te gustan. <laughs> Mangu is okay. My dad needs to make it. I can't have it. Nobody else's mangu. You've never had my mangu. You never I'm, made me mangu. 100%. But I make really good mangu. <laughs> says who? What you mean says who? My mom's eating my mangu. Mm-hmm. She approved. Yeah. And if mama approved, you know something. I'm doing something mm-hmm. right. Can I call my mama real quick? Go ahead. Let me see if she pick up. <laughs> she don't like me. Hey, mommy. Tu sabes esa sopa que a mi me gusta que la comadre hace? Que, que es de, no de, de, what's it called? Gandule, pero que, ¿cómo se llama? No de guandule, no, no son gandule, no. 
No. <risa> no. <risa> no. Que a mí siempre quiero aprender cómo hacerlo, cómo la comadre lo hace, que me gusta mucho. No es un asopado, porque nada más tiene como lo... lo... That, like no, son, no son guandules. Y yeah, llama a la comadre. <laughs> you should leave this in the pod. This <laughs> comadre. Hola, ¿cómo está? Mi parito. Qué bueno. Pregunta, ¿cómo se llama esa sopa que me gusta? Que no es de, de, no es de gandule, pero ¿cómo se llama? No, pero ¿cómo nosotros lo llamamos? Yo no sé eso, ese chambre nombre. <laughs> ¿Qué? No, no es sancocho. Nada más tiene eso, los beans. <laughs> la sopa. No one knows. Lenteja. Ahí está. Yes. Girl. <laughs> Gracias. Ok, eso fue todo. Bro, that shit's nasty. It looks like chickpeas. No, but they make it in that thicker consistency. Oh, that, okay. Uh, oh, so good. They were like galbanzo. Like that. Damn. I can't believe you didn't know lentil. I was like <laughs> fighting it. I'm like, yo, what is the name of this? That's crazy. What was she saying? She was like, Galvanzo, Fideo, Gandule. I'm like, no, it's none of these. <laughs> oh, Lord. They were yeah. talking shit. They were like, mm, it's not that They name. were laughing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Randomly called, hey, thanks for answering my call. Right, that's it. Bye. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Damn. Okay, on, on to on the to next the, thing. On to a different topic. That was the thread. <laughs> Never. Mayo and sugar sandwiches. Yeah, that's different. You know, I've when I was a kid, before. I hated cold and ketchup. cuts. Why? Was it the smell? I used to not, I still don't like the smell of cold I cuts. I think it's because I don't like eating cold food. Interesting. Yeah, and my aunt, um, she would get so irritated with me because um, in the morning she, when she would have to take me to school, this is back in the day where she used to live on the west side mm -hmm. of Orlando and I used to live on the east, like mm -hmm. Semarron and she used to live Oak Ridge. She would have to take me to school. So we were tight. So she was like, she made me a sandwich and she gave it to me and it was literally turkey and mm -hmm. um, American cheese and mm -hmm. I hate cheese. Yeah. And she was You're like, so here. Weird. And I'm like, I don't eat this. Natalia, you need to eat something. Because then if you go over there and you're hungry mm -hmm. and they see you eating and mm -hmm. you're eating like a savage, you're going to think I don't feed you. Mm -hmm. Period. I didn't eat it. You're such a child. But the, I had an issue back in the day. Like, I would lie about eating and I wouldn't eat. Like, because my aunt, she scared me. <laughs> if I didn't eat enough to her liking, she would force me to eat. That's abuse. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and, like, she... Knew like she was cooking, like she would cook um bacon, eggs, and pancakes early in the fucking morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. What energy? And I not I wasn't a morning person at the time. I don't mm -hmm. eat in the morning. I don't eat breakfast. Yeah. So she would cook it, and I would have to eat yeah. it, and yeah. my stomach would hurt because I don't want to eat it. So I would not eat at school, but I would lie, and I would be like, oh, today we had a taco salad. It was so good. Literally, I would panic if I was home on the weekends because <laughs> I couldn't lie about not eating. Yeah. That was These us. families. Girl. Got me fucking food disorders and <laughs> shit like this. I was skinny. And then my brother found out I was lying. He was like, if you don't eat, you're going to end up sick and they're going to feed you through a tube. That, that does happen. And then I got fat and I never went back. This is stupid. <laughs> All right. To stick to the theme with spooky season, ghosting. Have you ever ghosted someone or have you ever been ghosted? Both. I've ghosted a lot of people. I like ghosting people. I don't think I've ever been ghosted or it, it, I've probably been ghosted and I just chalked it up to like, okay. Yeah. The whole me ghosting people, I guess it's just because I wasn't interested in you. And mm -hmm. at that point, I didn't, I felt entitled enough to be like, well, You don't matter to me anyways. <laughs> Goodbye. I, I was trying to find like a good word for it, like a nicer word, but no, it was literally like me just feeling like entitled to somebody's time and me not liking them. So I don't have to explain myself to you. It was hard. I've grown. Yeah, that was me ghosting. And then I got ghosted one. I think the only time I can remember was this one guy. I don't think he liked me that much. <laughs> I don't, he didn't find my like me funny. And that was shocking because most people find me funny. But maybe my humor just wasn't his, which is fine. It's fine. Um, but I noticed like he wasn't like texting me. And I wasn't the girl who would like text first mm -hmm. back then. 
And I remember one time I'm like, hold on, bitch, it's been a week since we met and you haven't texted me? Mm -hmm. What? It was such a hurt to my ego. It, I, he blocked my number, pretty much. He did what I, I used to do to people. Yeah. I remember one time <laughs> I was talking to this guy and we hung out and he never like followed up with a second date. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, you're wasting my time. I can't do this. Right. And then one day, I don't know where I wasn't getting any of his text messages. And I thought it was like weird. And then me to my head and my feelings was like, oh, fuck no. This dude is not going to ghost me. <laughs> you fucking thought. So I literally deleted his number. I deleted his name and all this shit, That's you know. So and I was just like, who the fuck did he think he was? <laughs> and then literally I clock out of work and I get like a backlog of his messages. Good morning, sweetheart. How are you? Oh. I hope you're having a good day. I guess you're too busy. Um, Hit me up when you're done. A backlog of messages. And then I finally get the email and I get the last one right there. He was like, why are you ignoring me? And I was just like, yo, I literally, I was like, I thought you were ignoring me. I didn't get any of your messages until now. And he was like, that is so weird. I was really hurt. And then <laughs> <laughs> at that Bendito. point, you're deleted. I just ghosted. I Because... Natalia, even I after? Felt, yeah, I felt real bad because in my, I was really big on signs. I literally thought, I know. I remember that. Exactly. That time in like, my life. I was really big on signs. Like, maybe this is a sign from God that we're not meant to be. <laughs> and I ghosted him. Like, I just. Aw, poor him. I'm pretty sure he's living his best life. I think about him every so often. He's graduated with mm -hmm. his uh, computer science degree. Oh, that's he awesome. lives up in Tallahassee. Oh, that's I awesome. don't think he's engaged or married or anything like that, but he, people don't be saying shit on social anymore. Yeah. He's living his best life. That's good. Oh, I know. I feel I'm bad. sad now. That sits with me until Because he seemed nice. He was I remember nice. him. Yeah. He was nice. He was funny. Um, That sits with me today. You're like, to this day. <laughs> What could have been? What could have been? I could have, I could have transferred up there. We could have been a power couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I know for facts with the other guy. Mm -hmm. I ghosted him. He was too much for me. He was a lot. I couldn't. He was one of them that was planning his life with me, yeah. and and literally, I knew him for a week. That's so crazy to me. Still, we could go back to that and be like, "What the hell happened?" The it, amount of emotions in a week span. Yeah. He had me on the ropes. I had dreams about him. Yeah. She had dreams about him for me. Yeah. It like, was a lot. It was a lot. I, I have yet to know what the hell that was. It's okay because we grew. We got yeah. closer. That's 100%. the only benefit from that shenanigans. Okay. <laughs> to me, I formulated as much thought as kindly as I could say because I've always been blunt. Yes. Especially with. Once I lose feeling, I become blunt and mean. Yeah. And I didn't want to do that to him because we've gotten to a more, I don't know what I thought was like a connecting level, like more spiritually. Like, I don't know. You were, you got vulnerable with him and he became extremely vulnerable with you. Too, too quick, too fast. Yeah. Very. very so quick. I was just like, I'm trying to be nice, but he just wouldn't take no for an answer. He was just like, no, we can make it work. We can make it work. And I'm like, bro, I remember one time... He used to work at Steak and Shake with another dude that mm -hmm. was in this shenanigans. We went to that Steak and Shake because why the fuck not? This is my Steak and Shake too. Hello. Right. I remember, remember we went to the bathroom and we left Gabby by herself. No. You I don't remember. remember. Okay. So paint the picture for you, sisses. <laughs> so we went to the Steak and Shake. It was me, Natalie, and our friend Gabby. We walk in and who do I see at the bar or the table? I see the guy and I see our other friend at the window because he worked drive through. So me and Natalie clock them and we're just like, mm, let's go to the bathroom. So me and her go to the bathroom and we had our friend Gabby pick a table out for us. I remember. We go into the bathroom. We're just talking. I'm like, yo, it's so weird that they're there. Da, 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 mm -hmm. no. I actually had to go to the bathroom. I think she had to go to the bathroom too. So when we come out. Gabby is there and she's like, this her, is awkward. She's li literally, her eyes are open. Yeah. Her hands are folded in front and she's just looking at this cat and he's saying something very vulnerable or very like sensitive because he's like leaning forward a little bit. He's like hunched down talking to her and she's just like, 
this is a lot. I don't know you. So I don't want to be in this. I don't know who you are because I don't think we introduced her to him. No. He knew of her because she would come with us to where we met them. And she knew of him because I would speak about him right. and stuff like that. But right, right. they didn't know each other. Sure. Right. But he just felt the need to go sit next to them. And then he saw that me and Allie were coming out of the bathroom. He got up and he went back to the bar. And when we sat down, I was like, why was he bothering you? That was my instant. Now, why was he talking to you? Why was he bothering you? And she was just like, he just wanted me to tell you that he doesn't understand what he did wrong. <laughs> like he was involving people in the drama. He did a lot. It was a lot. It was just a lot. It, was a lot. it wasn't like those in the comments from that previous video talking about how, oh, I love when my man expresses his future, his ideas. He wasn't and, my man. And what, they barely knew each other. We met at Bible study. <laughs> Like he took a fan thing to me that night. night. Yeah. And it just spiraled. It's one of those situations where no offense to him, you would expect it to end up in a lifetime movie in a snapped in a, that type of situation. It wasn't a, Oh, this is so sweet and endearing. And no, it was, you had to be there. It was literally scary. <laughs> you had to be there literally. And I was just like, <laughs> if he was a screw or two loose, could have ended different. 100%. That's how scary it fucking was. 100%. If you would have had a car. Because <laughs> he knew where you lived. He did. And he would camp out. I promise you. He, he was very, like, the word dedicated isn't even, that's too nice. He was, de- something was wrong with him. Yeah, 100%. He was broken. He really was. He really was broken. And, yeah. and I just don't understand how him and his friend ended up were friends. Like, I don't know if they're still friends. I don't think so. I remember I saw him at um, yeah, downtown and I was just like, is this you? Yeah. And he knew me, but he didn't want to say nothing to me. But I clocked him. I was like, bro, I know you know me. Yeah. I, I just don't understand how, like knowing them individually, I don't know how that friendship worked. Because even he would find dude annoying exactly so it just didn't make sense it didn't make sense that was the second person that i knew i intentionally like lost there was no other way out of it without somebody else without anyone getting hurt Hurt. and it wasn't gonna be me because i already made my decision (laughs) that's it girl lord so that's ghosting. And then have I been ghosted i don't think i've ever been intentionally ghosted because again i wouldn't allow myself yeah to let someone play me like that. Yeah. In my mind. It wasn't a real play. But in my mind, I always thought I had to get up on somebody. I just think that ne- where, you know, that was years ago. Were we even 20? Bro, we point? were 18, 19. 19. Not even, probably. Because we had just graduated. And I graduated. When we graduated, I was 17. Well, I was 18. Well, very true. Yeah. So I, I was 18, 17. Yeah. And we didn't, we didn't, at that time, she just got her license. I didn't have my license. Yeah. Like we were brand new out into this world. world. Yeah. First semester, college. We were young. We were babies. Right. And I just feel like ghosting at that point is like normal. Yeah. You know, at that age and that yeah, like age span. Yeah. But now, obviously I'm married, but like if I wasn't, I don't think I could do that. I don't think I People's could. People's time is valuable. Yeah. You know, like it's just, it doesn't take a lot. I also feel like there's a sense of like when you're that age, you not only do you feel entitled, but maybe like a a sense of, I don't want to confront you on this. I don't want to tell you this. Yeah. It comes into play. But at this big age of ours, I don't feel like that should be a thing. I feel like my vetting process is way more intricate. So I know for facts, first conversation where we're coming at not like interrogation it flows no I you know you. what i mean i got you but yeah but the people on the internet be like damn you just be cutting people off just because you're projecting and that happened to you mm-hmm. that's not how it is right like it's, it's because people's times are valuable time is moving too quick shit is happening in the world we're growing up we're growing up my 401k is about to get stacked because I'm about to contribute, <laughs> you know? I'm trying to get my life in order. Right. And I need my partner to be in the same boat. I, I just don't understand how people could look at it in a sense of like, but how dare you? You know, it's like, no. We're I'm not I, compatible. What the that, fuck do you want me to do? That's it. Like, I don't, me and you don't have the same visions for our lives and that's okay. Well, we could still be friends. 
I'm not even no. That's a little much. Oh, you're not. Really I'm not friends? even gonna be friends with you. No. Oh, not unless it it leans more to that. Like, oh yeah, you know? uh, that's what I mean though. Oh, like, okay, okay, okay. Because I can't imagine even talking to somebody like. Like you intimate said, that, like that intimate like and that, like cutting them off. Right. I'm like, at this point, I mean, we, you know me, I know you, we can still be friends unless it was like a really like, I don't feel like if I had a feeling for you, like if I actually liked you like that to the point where it's like, it's going to hurt me to be your friend. Okay. 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 Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The perfect example. Am I able to see this person? with another person in a relationship and still be okay. You feel me? I got you. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I, I feel you. like if you're able to just go into another relationship mm-hmm. and I and it hurts me to see that, then I shouldn't be your friend. I feel that. I was thinking about this the other day. I was just like, I was talking to a friend and they're in a situationship. I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, you're not in a real relationship. You're like in the in-between the weird ghetto stage. Exactly. Like, your Don't fuck buddies, you're, but your friends. You're but wasting your time. Okay, gotcha. When they were explaining it, I was just like, that sounds like a friends with benefits. Right. But it's beyond that. It's confusing. It is. <laughs> I was just like, oh, and how's that going? And they was like, oh, it's going very good. I really like the person. It's going good, but you're calling it a situationship. I don't know. <laughs> it was a positive thing for them. I don't know what that means. Is a situationship only negative? Maybe somebody got to catch me up. But when I first heard that word and every time I've heard it, it's in a negative connotation. So it was always just a one-sided thing in the two, the couple? Not necessarily a one-sided thing. It was mo- mostly so like, I want to be with you, but I don't want to be with you. But I like being with you, but I don't want to be with you because I have other things going on. But I also want to be with you. Okay. It's like a friend, a friends with Ben, again, from my experience. Friends with benefits, just toxic or? I consider it more toxic because it's like, I, but I want to be in a relationship with you. But I don't want to give up my, my options. options. Yeah. Okay. So they were just talking about it. it was like, oh, I like him. It's going good. We're enjoying our time. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm glad. I'm happy for you. You getting your rocks knock off on the launch it. They were just like, but I don't like when this person ignores me for like days on time. Like not texting back, not communicating, da 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 da. I'm just like, well, well, why are you annoyed by that? You guys aren't in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Like me personally, I don't like it because I don't like getting ignored. Yeah, but I, I also don't, I also don't expect it from someone yeah, that I'm not on that to, level. Right, with, you know. Right, right, right. So I was just like, okay, well, have you told that person that you didn't like that? No, I just don't want to. <laughs> They're like, no, I don't want to cause an argument. I don't want them to think I'm um, growing feelings. I'm like, but you are. Because why are you annoyed? This person is our age. Yeah. Whoever you are, (laughs) figure it out. Okay. Stop wasting your time. It makes no sense. It it doesn't. And then I was just like, okay. And then they mess around with each other. And then they got mad that they were talking to other people. That the, the person that they were fucking around with was talking to other people. I'm like, I'm confused. Are y'all exclusive? No, they're in a situation. Exactly. <laughs> but it's going well. That doesn't it's make It's going awesome. <laughs> Honey, at this point, love yourself. Literally. I don't understand people who allow that shit to happen. And it be, it goes beyond my understanding. I don't really care to understand. But as a friend, I'm just thinking in my head, like, how do you just allow this shit to happen? My thing is... It's one thing for you to actually mean that it's going well. You like it. It's okay. Like that's and then situ- just a lie. Right. But in that same breath, you're also saying, oh, but I don't like when they do this, that, and the third, but I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to argue and I don't want them to feel a type of way. Yeah. That doesn't sound healthy. I don't want to give them a reason to stop <laughs> fucking around with Right. Me. But it hurts my feelings that they're messing around with other people. That's so, that's <laughs> just not okay. Huh? <laughs> what? Just, it makes no sense. And I've already told them how I felt about it. And again, I'm not the type of person to repeat myself. I'll sit here and I'll listen to what you mm-hmm. gotta say because I understand venting sessions. Right. But after a certain point, I'm over it. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Yep. I don't care because anything further than that, you're doing it to yourself. Exactly. 
And like, we're too fucking grown for this bullshit to be like, I don't know what to do. What you mean? You don't know what to do. Look at his actions. I live by the understanding at my age now, if he wants to, he will. 100%. Or if she wants to, she will. 100%. And nobody's perfect. We're not saying that anybody's perfect, but it's just the sense of if I'm not able to talk to you and mm. say, hey, I really wish you would do this or, hey, I really don't like when you do that. We ain't meant to be. Then that's not even, that. that's out of the question, homie. I can't stand someone who just likes to be stuck in a situation. <laughs> yeah, in general. It like Not even just re relationships, just in general. Like it's tiring. It's draining i have my own things going on and then to again venting is one thing but i'm not trying to hear at least once to two one to two times a week the same person complaining about the same thing over and over and over and over and over She's talking again. to other people she mm. doesn't give me affection and like okay have you told her no i just don't want to cause a fight then that's your problem closed mouths don't get fed you want popcorn <laughs> like that's what I you want popcorn like Bro. I don't even want to talk about this anymore <laughs> and the thing that pisses me off is when I take my sweet ass time and you ask for advice I give you my advice and you ignore it I'm done giving advice I don't do that anymore whatever makes you happy literally I don't it's not that like we could be the and you know this you're my friend personally <laughs> you know this you gonna do whatever makes you happy I could suggest mm -hmm. but whatever makes you happy yeah you don't want to go to gym don't go to the gym. That's fine. I don't want to hear you say that you feel fat. Period. I don't want to hear you say that you Period. dying. Mm -hmm. Because I told you to come to my house and work out. That's or it. I told you to follow Glow with Joe. Grow with Joe. Whatever. Not only follow, just do something. I told do you something. to go walk your dog outside. Uh, damn it. For longer than park. five seconds, go to the park that's two minutes away. I'm confused. And I don't tell her my death. That's just how this at. works. That's just how this works. And this is a friendship. We're friends. <laughs> I love her with all I my love heart. her with all of my heart. But we are adults. We accept what other people accept. That that's it. Now just know, don't leave me your dog when you die. No, no, I will. I told you I was going to leave my child with you. You're the only one, you and your husband the only one he can deal with. I have another person, but she's in a situation and she can't take him. Just don't die right now. Damn, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we're friends. Because it like, just works. I hope I don't ever get to that point. I don't think I do to a point where I complain to you about the same repetitive shit and then you just like, Natalia, I've already told you. Like, on some serious I don't shit. care. Yeah, on some serious <laughs> shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think I do because. You don't. When I get tired or something, I make changes. Yeah. Because I don't like being in that mindset. I don't like right. being stuck. Right. It just doesn't make no sense. We also don't like to... Like, we have our vent sessions, but I feel like it, it's... We vent because we're about to explode. Yeah. You know? Like, I know I complain about shit. Mm -hmm. But I complain about... I feel... Correct me if I'm wrong. But I feel as if I complain about petty ass shit, but... Why my shoe broke? Yeah. You know, like I complain about things like that. I, I don't I don't feel like I complain about that. I feel like we complain and, and we vent and all that stuff, but we don't dwell. No. And it's just like I can bitch and moan about the government mm -hmm. of how it's ridiculous that we live in a state that the cost of living is way more expensive. Like everyone's in the same fucking boat. I've understood that when I was chit chatting with my friend who has dual income and her and her husband both make good money, multiple friends. And we're all struggling. Yeah. So I've I've understood that. I don't like to dwell in it because what the fuck is dwelling going to do? Yeah. I can hope and pray the government gives me another fucking stimulus check or some bullshit <laughs> like that. I can hope and pray that I win the lotto. Even though I don't play the fucking lotto. And when you do, you don't win. Exactly. And I'm just wasting my $2. <laughs> it makes no sense. That $2 can go towards my Starbucks. Make me happy while I'm struggling. But I feel like I would... Okay, I, I still want to be that friend to be like, if you need me, mm -hmm. you can talk to me. Same. Just don't make it be the same bullshit. It's just boundaries. Literally, that's all it is. Because you can only take so much. And that's one thing that I, I don't feel... Like, it's easy to say, but that's your girl and blah, 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 blah. Like, it's easy to say that, but you also have to know that everybody has their capacity. Mm -hmm. 
And if I'm at capacity already with my own things, Mm -hmm. and then I have to throw on you because I care about you. So naturally I feel like us as human beings, when we, we care about somebody, we kind of take on some of that. Mm -hmm. If I'm already at capacity, where the hell your shit going to fit on mine? The airplane lady (laughs) said, put your mask on before you help anybody else. Period. So yes, I'll be here for a venting session, but if it's the same thing that you talked to me about last week. And if it's something that you can change in that part, fix, yeah. That went from ghosting to dating life. Do what you will with it. Don't take the advice. Just hear two people talk shit. Do what you want. Always and forever. Hit up the comments if you agree. If you don't agree, keep your negative shit to yourself. And if you don't, just know we're laughing at you. Oh, for facts. I promise you we are. <laughs> and if you feel real thuggish, you want to say with your chest, put a picture down. Keep your shit public. I want to see your face. <laughs> don't talk about my friend's hair. She probably got more than you. That's what I said. (laughs) My thing is like, I feel, I know I'm not the person to make content, to post it online. I'm just not that person. But the moment that you told me that you wanted to make a podcast, I'm like, this is going to be hilarious. Because our our sense of humor (laughs) alone, our sense of humor alone, it's like, these people really be saying things. Facts. And you're not even like big yet, you know? And Matt, oh Lord, that's hilarious. And that's why I have to practice now. Like I have to stop myself from getting trigger fingers. I can be so disrespectful. That's facts. Mm-hmm. But then it's just like, if I fight one, I got to fight them all. Anyways, keep going off on the comments. We'll be laughing. Give us some content. Ugh, but if so you guys want to say something nice, that's also welcome. I mean, sure. This one Always person, <laughs> my machete story. Oh, she was like, I was like, he came out of nowhere with the fuck ass machete. And she put it down. Fuck ass machete. Where you live? <laughs> Bitch, I lived in the boonies. <laughs> and then when the story about the second year old trying to kill me. The second year old? That's what I said. I was like, this second year old kid. <laughs> and she was like, second year old kid, what the fuck? I meant the second grader. <laughs> she tried to kill me. <laughs> and it's just in the comments. I'm just like, you funny. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Welcome to my TED Talk. I didn't even catch that. I didn't because I just be saying shit in Literally. my in my scare, my frightening, traumatized ways. Uh-huh. I just be saying shit and I just don't remember. You're hilarious. And then I'm as I'm watching, I'm just like, that's funny. I didn't think people were gonna catch it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was Please great. for the audio viewers <laughs> or for the audio viewers. <laughs> <laughs> for the audio viewers no audio listeners oh shit okay <laughs> Whew. for the audio listeners please follow and subscribe anywhere you get your podcast spotify apple Podcasts, anywhere google i'm everywhere bitch and for the visual viewers please visual viewers. like subscribe and follow hit that notification bell on youtube Period. Is there anything your ass wants to fucking say? I love you. Lies. Yes. Happy Halloween, y'all. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Dos vidania. Peace. Bye.